Hi and welcome to Sailor Spin Craft. Today I'm going to prep and spin some Polworth. So I'm going to be using the combs, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm going to be using the combs and uh, the homemade hackle and I'm going to diz off a long bit of comb top and we're going to spin it on Gwen. Gwen's back. So anyway, yep, I'll get down to it and I'll see you all soon. So in this video I will be just prepping a lot of Polworth ready to spin. We're going to spin on Gwen today. She hasn't been used for ages and I just really want to use her. I know I probably shouldn't because a wheel still isn't fully fixed but she's a good wheel. She needs using and we're going to use her today. If you hear anything in the background, it's the cat. She's exploring the attic because she hasn't been in it yet. Hello. <laughs> Don't, you're not going up there. It's dangerous, the sharp things. No, 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 no. She's a bugger, I tell you. Little turd. Down. She's determined. I'll give her that. You're a turd. Right, so she's done this already. She's been up on here. She's jumped up to the attic window. It's shut, bearing in mind. Jumped into the window and then fallen onto my table and knocked my brew everywhere. I was not impressed. And by the looks of it, she's going to attempt it again. So, <laughs> I've moved the cup. There's nothing in it this time. So we should be all right. I'll move the lamp out of the way. So anyway, yes, we're back in the attic because she's fighting with that little table. And I wanted to try out the hackle. And I'm quite pleasantly surprised and happy with this hackle so start off on the combs i do have my spritz bottle just in case it gets a bit wild but i haven't had to use it just yet fingers crossed so i'm just going to spread these out just to make it a little bit easier to comb through and then go through the ends as little as possible through the ends back and forth remove that little bit you can see the knots that will be getting rid of see that I'll just get rid of that one I'll get rid of because they're not going to do well they're just going to get stuck on the comb so I'll get rid of it there's still vegetable matter that will come out there's one there get rid of right the others technically should come out so back we go go on flip go on and then flip and I do flip each time I go back onto the comb and that's just because I like it nice and even. I am a bit, a bit of a control freak when it comes to prepping my fibres and spinning them. Not one for making out yarn, but I did it the other day. I'm quite impressed with myself. I say the other day, other week. So I'm going to fluff this up again before I comb through I'm just going to look through take out anything I don't like the look of that might be alright if I just 
refold it, put it back over there. Can't really see much. So this will be the last one on the combs and then I will put it onto the hackle. So nice and steady, take your time, just through the tips so that each time you do it, you're getting rid of anything that you don't want. And as you can see, there is a couple of things there I don't want. So that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And the, oh, there's a bit of Vegemite there. Get rid of that. So now I've checked what I want on, what I don't want on. I'm just going to fluff the back and I'm going to transfer it to my hackle. And I'm just going to, the same as I do on the combs, flip it, transfer it, flip it, transfer it. There's another bit of veggie matter. Get rid of that. So there we go, that's one lot and I'll do another lot and the reason why I wanted the hackle, I will show you it very soon, is because I wanted more comb top basically, I'll get rid of that bit, rather than just having a little bit off the combs, I'll have say three combs worth and I'll pull it off into a big slither of comb top. You can use your combs for just basically sorting the fleece. You don't have to have it like I do with the butt on the comb and the tips on the end. I just like doing a true worsted prep. Not guaranteed to spin it in a true worsted, but because I might do it wrong way around. Need much more onto this one. Just get that, that one there. Separate them. Bring it up off the, the base of the comb so that you can do what needs to be done. If you want, separate each lock. It all depends on how you want to do it and what works best for you. For me, it just depends what mood I'm in to whether I'm separating the locks to help the vegetable matter come out or if I'm just going to comb it. <laughs> all depends, like I said, on what mood I'm in. So through the tips. Oh, that were a bit too far in, which is why I slowed down to go through it. Push it up. Again, transfer.
So I'm going to carry on with this and I'll speed it up slightly so you can see what I do, what I'm prepping. And then, yeah, we'll get spinning it. So as you can see now we've got three lots of the combed the combing fibre on. I'm gonna use the bigger hole. I'm gonna go from this side, get off you. I'm gonna go from right to left, left to right, and I'm just gonna dizz it off. And do you know who I learned how to diz so well from? Beth from Blue Mountain Handcrafts. And that's what the, she's called. And she, I watched her for ages before I actually did it. And I just got the concept down and then went ahead and did it. <laughs> but I do that with a lot of things. So... There we have a nice big slither of comb top instead of a <coughs> small one like off the combs. So that's off the hackle and that's off the combs. Thank you for watching this part. Now let's go spin. So Gwen is a double drive. A lot of you will not have seen Gwen, but the people who have been here for the longest will know Gwen and that she got popped to one side because I'm scared of this bit breaking. But she is holding well, so we're going to spin with her. I am going to... I've already tightened... everything up oh, would you have, is it going in Fair enough. there we go oh do you know I haven't spun on her for so long I've got a feeling that's going to get stuck like it usually does yep doesn't like the knot there we go should. and she spins ultra fine right that is dragging uh pulling on too much just let a bit of that off and still 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 too much that went down I will spin the singles on Gwen and then I shall chain ply them either on lamps or um, Apprentice which is the Kromsky Fantasia. But right now I'm just going to enjoy Gwen.
Cool. What are you using? Gwen. I am using Gwen, yeah. Mind your head with all those sticking off the table. Do not touch the table, it is sharp. just love the chatter that comes from this wheel. And the reason why I'm spinning this pole with on this wheel is because all the other pole with that I've got from this fleece I have spun on this wheel. So I'm not gonna deviate. I will spin all the singles onto Gwen and then ply them on Lance more than likely because he's got bigger bobbins than Gwen or The Apprentice. Gwen's are the smallest bobbins, which is why I like doing lace weight on Gwen. And that's probably because she's a double drive as well.
so I hope you all found this video informative. If I can answer any questions, please ask in the comments. And I will do my best to answer them. If I don't know the answer, then I will point you in the direction that I do believe the person can answer. No matter where you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you to do what you love doing. Love and hugs to all you fantastic people out there. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye my beautifuls.